<sighs> hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is day 16 of the Auto Wheel League Go Day Challenge. Hit the like button and subscribe button. Join me in Discord. Let me know what you think about uh, today's poem. And yeah, that's it. Uh, today's a rest day, and I actually took a bit of a rest. Um, yeah, that's it. I, I don't really have much. I, don't know. I mean, I've been saying this all week. I'm way beat up, I'm still way tired. I still need to just do nothing for like a week after the marathon, obviously, to really recover. Um, but for now, I am just going to stay tired. And yeah, um, <clears throat> one day of recovery is not quite enough. Uh, and anyway, let's take a look at today's farm. Then we have 2598, smallest missing non-negative integer after operations. All right, let's go. Ooh, wait. You're given a zero indexed integer away. Now it's an integer value. Okay, in one operation, you can add or subtract value from any elemental nums. Oh, yeah. Um, uh, uh, I know a couple of people t tell me that they're from these countries from time to time, but I, since I don't make this comment every day, um, it may get lost. But I'm, I'm doing a, a, at the end of the year, I'm doing a quick trip to Buenos Aires, uh, San Diego, and Rio. Uh, and a couple of other places actually in South America, but those are little towns I'm doing hikes, so you may not see me like Patagonia, uh, you know, uh, uh, places. But um, yeah, if you're in those cities, let me know. Uh, well, I was gonna say let me know in the comments, but it, it, it's hard to communicate there. Come to the Discord. Uh, maybe we'll grab food or something uh, if you're from those areas, or if you just happen to be there or whatever, right? And we'll see. Uh, life is small. The world is big, right? Or the world is big and small, really. Uh, it's kind of funny because I'm saying that because today uh, I had dinner with a bunch of my uh, my friends uh, and at the same um, restaurant in out in uh, Lower East Side here in Manhattan um, I went to, into someone whom I met in San Sebastian, Spain uh, where I just, you know, we were uh, we we're both like solo travelers and we just got grouped to a table and then we just kind of uh, um, made conversation and we just ate a lot of food together in uh, San Sebastian and, and we ran into each other today so it was like four years ago or five years ago so it's a small world in any case that could be you I guess <laughs> all right let's take a look at today's poem uh, all right we have a zero index integer array nums and integer value value in one operation you can add or subtract value from any element of nums uh, any element of num for example, if nums is 1, 2, 3 and value is 2, you can choose to subtract value from nums of 0 to make it, okay. So you can subtract or add value from the nums. The max minimum excluding of an array is the smallest non-negative integer in it. For example, max of do 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 is 0. Uh, max, do, well, the max, okay, is 2. We don't the maximum max of num. So basically, okay, I see. So you're given this array of number, you could, for each number, you could make, uh, you could add or subtract value of 5, and then you're trying to get, maximize the number that is missing maximize the minimum number that is missing from the array right positive number i assume or non-negative okay uh the first thing to note is that because you can add or subtract five uh, for every number we can um uh we could uh, kind of boil it down to because we can do it any number of times and that means that all the equivalent classes are um, the number mod 5, right? Meaning that... And another example that's a little bit clearer, I mean 5, I'm just looking at it because it's example 1, but another example that you can maybe, is more natural to you, is if value is 2, right? If value is 2, then another way of saying that is you have only odd and even numbers, right? And you, every odd number can go to any odd number. Every even number can go to any even number, right? Um, and it's the same similar idea with five is that okay you can go there's a, a, all the numbers that are zero mod five one mod five two mod five three mod five four mod five and dot 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 right and then now in that way because they're all the same you can just pick one is i don't even i know some people for some reason i feel like may say is greedy because people just say stuff but but you can just pick any of them and then just choose the next available number right um, for example, again, with values equal to 2, we can just add even th things, right? So then we'll be like, okay, well, we need a 0 in the first number, um, so we just see if we have a even number available. We need a 1, is there an odd number? We need a 2, is there an even number? 
dot dot dot. And that's the same way you would do it for any value. Uh, and that should be good. So the first thing I want to do is uh, we want to do a collections counter, nums, kind of, right? But that's not quite what we want to do. What we want to do is, as we said, the quote unquote, the odd evenness, or in this case, mod value, right? So maybe you would have something like uh, m mod value for for m in nums, right? And then now you can print it out just so you know you make sure that you're good, right? Uh, in here, you can, and I would also say that just to be clear, in some languages, uh, mod mod is a little bit different, right? Meaning mod a ne mod of a negative number may give you a negative number depending on your language. So you have to make sure you're, you're a little bit careful. Uh, but in Python, it 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 does not. So yeah. So then here, yeah, you could see, right? And then now we just have to. Well, do a while loop, right? So, uh, so current maybe is equal to zero. So then while, uh, while true, you can maybe do something more precise, but it doesn't really matter, I don't think. Uh, yeah. So then now, if f of current mod value is greater than zero, then we're Gucci, right? We decrement, we use it, and then we increment by one, and then we continue. Otherwise, then we just break. So maybe that could just be this loop, <laughs> right? And then we can just return current because that means that this number is equal to zero. That means that current is the next number and we should be okay. All right, looks okay. Let's give it a quick submit. Uh, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. It happens, I'm lazy. And that's it. We are actually right. And we are at 2025 days, which I only point out because I guess this is year 2025. I don't know. Is that interesting? I don't know. Uh, but yeah, uh, what is the complexity here, right? Believe it or not, well, this is linear, right? This can only happen linear number of times because pigeonhole, right? If you run out of elements, then, well, you, you just have no more elements. So, so this is actually, this is linear time, linear space. Ish, I guess it depends on why you, but why you can be linear, I suppose, or or why you can be n. So then, right? Um. So yeah. So <clears throat> so linear time, linear space in the worst case, and that's all we have for this one. Huh? I got it wrong last time. What did I do last time? If I just huh. and I did this. Oh, I did set. Why did I do set? Huh? Well, that's a silly mistake. Maybe I just wasn't thinking. Why do, why do I, sometimes when I click on this, it goes to the left, sometimes it goes to the right. Uh, but yeah. Yeah, okay, so then we basically did it the same way. Uh, yeah, um, much faster though. Um, I don't know what I could done. Why, why are things so nutty? Like you click on a, a thing and then like it appears on a random window. Lead code is not very, uh, lead coding but in any case yeah linear time linear space that's all we have for this one let me know what you think thanks for watching stay good stay healthy to your mental health i'll see y'all later and take care bye bye